Hello and welcome to today's video. So in this one, I'm going to be trying out a new type of resin that I haven't tried before, which is the Conjure Rigid. Now, this resin has been done in like a partnership with Shitu Systems, or Shitu Systems, if I get that right. So this resin should most closely rival my Elgu ABS light resin that I've been using for a long time, adding a bit of flexibility and durability to those models. So in this video, we're going to be trying that out and just seeing how it performs. So as I talk through my first impressions of the actual resin itself, my alter ego is going to be trying out the durability of these and comparing them to a box of stuff that I printed off from the Elgu ABS light resin, just doing a couple of comparisons and I'll recap at the end to say just kind of my thoughts on durability and whether or not this resin is worth it. So let's welcome my alter ego from another timeline, a bit bizarre. Hmm, I can't wait to see how flexible this stuff is. Let's uh, have a look. So. In this box, I have a box of the stuff from Conjure Rigid. So this is the stuff by Chitu Systems. And in this box, I've got the Elgu ABS light resin stuff. So I, in the background, as he is talking through the stuff that he likes so far and dislikes about it, I'll just be having to play with this to see how durable they really are. So I've been printing off a few of these models now with the Conjure Rigid, and I've got to say, I actually really like it. It's pretty easy to print with. I didn't really have to mess around with the settings too much. So in that regard, it's actually really easy to use. First thing I'm gonna say that I absolutely love about this resin is the bottle, and that might sound a little bit crazy, but recently I have seen so many posts on Facebook groups about people shaking the resin bottles and their sort of like top plastic cap within the screw lid is bursting off. Now, whatever that is, maybe there's pressure, maybe it's people tightening the screw cap too much. Obviously that leads to issues where people are getting resin on the face, on the skin, potentially in their eyes. And obviously always be safe when you're using resin, you're better safe than sorry at the end of the day, you won't be able to paint any models or print them if you are blind, so just bear that in mind. But yeah, loads of people are posting that. Now, with this bottle that comes with the Conjure resin, it's in this kind of like metal thermos. So it is really sturdy and I don't think you're gonna have any issues with it like breaking in postage or shipping. You're not gonna kind of get too many dents, smashes, leakages or anything like that. And their screw top is basically, it's bomb proof. It's this really big, rigid, I mean, clues in the name there, but this really strong screw top that goes on it. It's also got this kind of like plastic plug that goes inside of it as well. So basically, if one part of that were to fail, you're probably not gonna get any explosions or anything dangerous like that. So hats off to them for that. It's a really, really well-prepared, presented bottle at the end of the day. And that sounds crazy, but sometimes that's nice, especially when it comes to safety issues and all of that. Now, using the resin itself, I found that actually when it came to detail, the stuff that I was getting off it looked just a little bit crisper than the ABS Elgu resin. Now, I love the ABS Elgu resin. It's the go-to stuff that I always use. It's a good amount of durability, and it looks pretty good in my opinion. But the Conjure Rigid resin just about edges it out. Only slightly, you might not be able to see it in some of these video shots that I'm putting up on the screen for you to see. In the naked eye and in person, I can just about make out a difference. It's not night and day by any means, but it is a little bit sharper and I do like that. The other thing that was nice about this resin is there was literally zero smell. And I don't really get too much from the ABS light resin, but it's definitely there's a noticeable sort of like tang that's in the air. I printed them both without my Elgu filters. And with the ABS light resin, there is that little bit that lingers in the air and you can smell that you've been printing in a certain room. But with the Conjure Rigid, I didn't smell anything. Again, seems to be different batches will offer a slightly different amount of smell, but actually I really like the fact that there's no smell lingering afterwards. So just another positive. Again, it's more of a quality of life thing than, you know, anything that's gonna be night and day, but a nice to have. One thing that's really important to note about the Conjure ABS light resin is that I did have more failures on the same models and on the same settings than I did with the ABS light resins. Had zero failures on three printfuls of the ABS light resin. However, on my three printfuls with the Conjure resin, I had quite a few failures there. One thing that I've noted is that when they were coming off it, they felt quite sticky and tacky. So I obviously didn't have the exposure settings dialed in enough on the Conjure resin and it needs to be a little bit higher than what I was using it at. So that's just something to bear in mind. It might result in some longer print times, but ultimately you're getting some really good quality and everything else. So that's all the quality of life stuff before I've tested out the durability. I'm now gonna hand over to my alter ego who's been smashing things up on this table by the looks of things and let you know what my thoughts are, or his thoughts anyway, on durability. I've had a lot of fun smashing things up and I do have some thoughts. So my first one is, so these ones are like my Conjure resin ones. This is my ABS light resin. I actually broke the ABS light resin when flexing it. It felt almost as though this kind of, I've just broken it again, had a tiny bit more flexibility in the ABS light resin one, but then when it went, it just completely snapped real quick. And it almost feels kind of brittle on that print, which is unusual for these. 
With these, they do have a good amount of movement. So I've got sort of these thin weapons here. And this is the Conjure Resin. And there's a good amount of flex. This, I'm going to snap it. I'm going to go for it. Let's see how far it goes before we get a snap. I mean, hopefully, see that on the camera. I mean, I've pretty much got it into a full U. Oh, look at that. It's almost folded in on itself. And in fact, I, wow. So here we go. Filming on my phone. Look at that. In fact, I folded it in half. <laughs> wow, okay. So that is the Conjure resin. That's really good. That's better than I was expecting for that. Can I fold it the other way? Oh, wow. It's literally just bending all in on itself. So instead of snapping, it's bending left, right, and center. Is it gonna do the same on this? So here's, an, oh, and again, same. Is it just fold in half. So really, really impressive when it comes to the durability. Now I threw it in the air, so I used one of these failed prints and I threw it in the air just to see how it would last if obviously when it's dropped from a height and you probably saw that shatter on the table. The problem with these wraiths is they have a really, really small point of contact. These are the latest ones by Artisan Guild. So they have a really small point of contact going onto the, um, the base. So if they do drop, they probably are gonna snap and I don't think that's really that avoidable. Nothing else broke on it though. So that really tiny bit of contact that broke, which I kind of expected. Nothing else on this broke, which is really good. And all of these as well, good range of motion. And I've got to say, when it comes to the quality, like we are mentioning beforehand, you can't really see it too much on the camera, but I've got, it's definitely there. There is a slight bit of sharpness, or extra sharpness anyway, when it comes to the Conjure Resin. I really like it. All in all, it's very, very close. I love the Elgu ABS Lite Resin. I think I just about prefer the results that come off from the Conjure Resin, and that's a big shout because I love the Elgo ABS Light Resin, but I think it is just that little bit sharper with the Conjure Resin. And based on <laughs> this, you know, being able to fold it over, that's a, a massive win. In terms of being a miniature printer that has lots of little bits, lots of stuff that can snap and all of that, this is really handy. I mean, it did finally snap this one, it literally just snapped in my hands, but that was a good amount of movement. In fact, I just folded it over again on the end. Don't know how much I'm sure you're probably not seeing it on camera. It's really impressive. Because that is really, really impressive. So final thoughts are, really like the results that come from the Conjure Rigid Resin. I definitely need to play around with the exposure settings just a little bit, because like I said, they felt a little bit tacky. That could be down to washing and they need a little bit more washing than something like the AVS-like resin from Elgu. But overall, the results are really impressive. The bottle is fantastic in terms of safety and just convenience, so hats off to them there. And the results that have come off from this, really, really good. So like I said at the beginning, this is a partnership of by Shitu Systems to basically expand into new resins and offerings that they can do with things like Shitu Box and Shitu Box Pro. Definitely worth our trying out as well if you are using these 3D printers. You can always get a trial or something like a Shitu Box Pro. And there is a link down in my description as well if you wanna head on over there. And hopefully, might even be able to get you a little bit of a discount as well. I use Pro just because it offers some extra nice quality of life improvements, but it's not a necessary to have. But all in all, I'm really, really pleased with these. They're very impressive, great looking prints, really good quality on them, and a good range of flexibility. Shame about a couple of the failures that I had on them, but apart from that, if I can dial in my settings on it, I've got no complaints with this so far. So hats off to them, a really good resin, strongly recommend you try it out if you're dealing with anything at all that is quite fragile or needs that extra durability. So thank you very much to Chitu Systems for sending this resin over to me. I do need to just point out that they send it over to me free of charge just to offer my opinion. It's not a sponsored video, so the thoughts on this are my opinion, my opinion alone, they are not influenced. So definitely worth our trying out. I really like it. As a fan of the Elgu ABS Lite Resin, I will probably be going 50-50 and switching between them until I decide on which one I'm gonna go with permanently, but I'm really impressed with the results I've just seen by folding those weapons over. So I hope that video has helped. If you've got any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. If you want me to do any more follow-up, like larger prints and how that all turns out, especially with the couple of failures that I had on it, just to see if that influences things, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to bring that video to you. In the meantime, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.